Joining us, everyone, I'm Lisa Robinson. That plan for transit improvement adds up to $135 million. IT reporter David Collins was there for this morning's big reveal. He joins us live from West Baltimore with details. David? Well, under that curtain was a bus. As you mentioned, the Hogan administration is committing $135 million to what they call the Baltimore Link System. Twelve new buses will have technology to hold green lights longer or shorten red lights to speed up travel through intersections. The bus routes will be color-coded and travel on color-coded routes with easy-to-read signage and detailed maps. But the biggest improvement to the transit system will be that it is interconnected. There are plans for a car-sharing link. The vision includes enhanced reverse commute routes. This will connect Baltimore City residents to regional employers. And the timeline for it all to be fully implemented is June 2017. For the first time ever in history, the people of Baltimore and the surrounding jurisdictions will be able to travel conveniently, efficiently, and affordably from where they live to where they work. Our new plan will connect Marylanders to 745,000 jobs in and around Baltimore and will give 205,000 more people access to high frequency transit. The governor says he briefed the mayor for some 90 minutes on the plan. She did not show up for the announcement. The administration will now go on the road to sell it to consumers. Public education forums will begin next month. Reporting live from West Baltimore, David Collins, WBIL TV 11 News.